One of the first lessons that we learned was to use AI accelerators. Use computers that are good at machine learning to do machine learning. For a while, we've been really successful at building CPUs. CPUs are really good at running my operating system, powering the internet, and running the apps on my smartphone. But they're not very good at linear algebra. Some of the applications of linear algebra that we've known about in the past are things like scientific computing, computer graphics. This leads to things like GPUs. Um, one of the things that we learned recently is that linear algebra is also really good at AI. Neural networks are built on top of linear algebra. And so if we have computers that are really good at linear algebra, like we built for computer graphics, like GPUs, um, and we use them to run neural networks, they can be a lot faster than, than CPUs. CPUs exploit technologies like branch prediction, heavily pipelined high clock frequencies, out of order execution. Um, those things are really great for sequential programs like the apps on my smartphone. Um, but linear algebra is very different than that. It's very computationally intensive, it's very regular, it has a lot of data locality. And this fits in perfectly with things like massive parallelism um, and local data access. And so when you put all these things together, um, you can build AI accelerators like GPUs that are way faster than CPUs at running neural networks. So whereas CPUs might be able to run neural networks at uh, single teraflops, like single um, trillions of operations per second, um, single AI accelerators like GPUs can be 100 times faster, so they can run at things like 100 teraflops. Um, if you gang together uh, a collection of GPUs um, into a cluster, um, like you would in a supercomputer, you can be uh, even bigger than this or even faster than this. So it's possible to group together thousands of uh, GPUs and have them solve a single uh, neural network training problem. Um, and this can boost your performance to uh, you know, maybe tens of petaflops. So you can be about 10,000 times faster than a CPU uh, using systems that you can put, uh, put together today. Um, so, you know, if you're, uh, one, one of the things that we learned uh, when we're building AI algorithms that are really compute intensive, they need uh, to train really big models on really big data sets and the computational requirements of this are really big, um, you should use AI accelerators. So you should use computers that are really well optimized at this problem.